He's strong. He's going to be okay. Look after him, Jim. Look after them all. You've been a good friend. The best I could ask for. You were there at the beginning. And now, you get to see how it ends. Best gift you've brought us all night. I can't believe he showed up. So Bruce Wayne, huh? If it's all the same to you, I'll stick to Batman. No, no. You sound scared, Crane. Get used to it. Gotham still needs Batman for one last night. And then? Prepare the Nightfall Protocol. Are you sure? There's no other way, Alfred. It needs voice confirmation. Martha. Very good, Master Bruce. You can be sure your instructions will be followed. analysis on the blood sample I just uploaded. Right you are, Master Bruce. I'm searching for possible matches now. <laughs> How you managed to get this sample is beyond me, sir. Ah, here we are. The blood is heavily mutated, but we have a partial match, a Dr. Kirk Langstrom. Search for any properties in Gotham owned or leased by Dr. Langstrom. Certainly. Uh, let me see. Ah, he and his wife lease a basement laboratory in Chinatown. I'm sending you the address. I'm so proud of you, honey. Go on. Tell them what you've done. Uh, <clears throat> Hello, world. No, that's... Oh, that's Go on. Just be yourself. Okay. <clears throat> Full genetic re-splicing was a success. The recombinant molecule... Honey? You're doing it again. How about in English? Uh, yes, of course. Sorry. So, uh, what we've done is merged the DNA of Desmodus Rotundus, uh, sorry, the, the vampire bat, into the human chain. This breakthrough could, it will, prevent and cure deafness in all humanity. How was that? Perfect, sweetie. Uh, are you getting this, honey? I think so. Is the red light on? a computer. Maybe it contains some answers. This computer stores all of Dr. Langstrom's research.
Mixing his DNA with a vampire bat? That was never going to end well. If I search through his files, I may be able to create an antidote to his condition. I need to isolate the man bat's signature and remove it from Langstrom's DNA. That's it. I've created a clean DNA sample. Now all I need to do is make him take his medicine. Alfred, I've synthesized a cure in Langstrom's lab. Now I just need to find him. Any idea where he may be hiding? He's not in control of his actions. He could be anywhere. No one knows this city better than you, Master Bruce. You'll find him. Dr. Langstrom and administer the cure. I need you to prep an isolation chamber. I'm bringing him in. Sure thing. I'll get right on. Tied up down 
Just when I think I've seen it all. He gonna be okay. Physically, yes. <sighs> Where's Francine? Where, where is she? She's dead, Kirk. No. She can't be. I, I just... What have I done? The serum. It changed you. You lost control. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? <laughs> sweet Francine. Sweet, sweet Francine. <laughs> Blood tests reveal the cause of death was an overdose of painkillers leading to cardiac arrest. Also, the victim's fingerprints have been burned off with acid. A rather unsavory demise. That's not all. It's as though the subject's DNA has been corrupted somehow. There's insufficient information for me to cross-reference the database. I'll have to use the deep tissue scanner to analyze the body for distinguishing features and determine the victim's identity. Right you are, sir. That particular type of bleaching to the pigmentation of the skin denotes a chemical burn, most likely a chlorine-based substance. Tracheal surgery to remove a cancerous growth has resulted in the victim being fitted with a voice box. The victims suffered a rare genetic disorder, causing them to have six fingers on one hand. Alfred, the victim's name is Allison Weirs. Hmm. She was an engineer employed at Ace Chemicals. That would certainly explain some of her ailments. She moved into a retirement home in Bloodhaven several years ago. Their grounds are adjacent to a large park. What's unusual is that they didn't go missing in Gotham. They were brought here and killed. Why? We need to track down whoever did this. Might I suggest keeping an ear out for any more of that ghastly opera music? It sounds ominously like a calling card. The freak's probably out there watching. He likes that sort of thing. This wound is relatively fresh, inflicted while the victim was still alive. Abrasion to the epidermal layers confirms the somewhat crude removal of a tattoo. Kidneys. No way the bat's getting past me. A plate made of tantalum, used here for a cranial fracture, most probably the result of a boxing accident. The victim's callous knuckles would only be acquired by a professional fighter. Alfred, the victim's name is Ella Montgomery. It appears the kidney was donated to a twin sister who unfortunately died. This seems to have been the catalyst for her boxing pursuits, and hence the cranial injury. She went missing in Huntsville, Alabama. Another person taken from outside the Gotham area. A significant detail, sir. So are these words written beside the bodies. Try and find a connection between the two victims I've found, Alfred. There has to be something linking them together. I'll try my best, sir. An irregularity on the victim's chest. It appears to be a birthmark, quite distinctive. There's a bullet lodged deep in the upper bicep. 
This type of ammunition is predominantly used with a hunting rifle that hasn't been manufactured in over a decade. The left foot is missing several toes. The site of amputation suggests the removal of non-viable tissue in the treatment of frostbite. Alfred, I've ID'd the victim as Robert Kincaid. He was a microbiologist who worked for Stag Enterprises. Many believe the shooting was connected to Kincaid's knowledge of controversial research, although that remains unverified. He took a teaching post in Atlanta, which is where he was reported missing. That's three victims, all of them abducted in various places around the country. Keep looking for a connection, Alfred. Right you are, sir. The writing by the bodies suggests the killer has a higher purpose. It's as if these weren't good enough for what he has in mind. Do you think there are other victims? Yes, and I don't know what he has planned for them. I've seen that pattern of scar tissue before. It's a bite mark. Analyzing its radius points to a species of Salacomorpha. This particular variety of shark is only found in the waters off the coast of North Gotham. The victim is fitted with an ocular prosthesis. This specific type of medical grade acrylic was used only once during a trial five years ago. Signs of trauma to the upper arm. At some point, titanium screws have been implanted to repair a fractured humerus. Alfred, the victim's name is Lisa Mendez. Uh, she had quite a troubled upbringing, sir. Orphaned age nine, foster homes, drug abuse. She developed a talent for surfing, hence the shark attack. Tragically, it's also how she lost her boyfriend. She was working for a Christian charity in Tucson, Arizona, when she went missing. Have you found anything linking the victims? I can find no personal or professional links between the victims, but they each went missing near state parks or playing fields. Try and find anything connecting those places. Of course, sir. I'll look into it. Deformity on the left ear. Looks like a result of minor ear agenesis, a birth defect. A wedding ring in the lower intestine. The inscription reads, Ophelia. The victim had a hip replacement. Scar tissue hasn't fully healed, so it must have been recent. Alfred, the victim's name is Anthony Lund. Hospital records show he suffered with alcoholism, most probably brought on by the breakdown of his marriage. The name on the ring, Ophelia, his ex-wife. He was last seen in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Do the details of the disappearance match with the others? They do indeed, sir. Also, your request to cross-reference the parks and playing fields has proved fruitful. I've come across some leasing documentation that appears to have been falsified. Someone is attempting to cover their tracks. Find out anything you can, Alfred. We couldn't have done anything to prevent these deaths, but we can still save others. Scar tissue on the upper arm. I recognize the pattern. 20 years ago, this was a badge of honor among inmates at Blackgate Penitentiary, a small group of racketeers known as the Bloodhaven Six. Remnants of a pacemaker fitted through the right ventricle. If I cross-reference the manufacturer with the pacing method, it will help to narrow the search. Clear signs of bone deformation on the victim's knee. Joint line sclerosis points to juvenile arthritis, a rare and debilitating condition. 
Alfred, I've ID'd the victim as Franklin Ocardo. His records are a litany of drug-related offenses, sir. In and out of prison from an early age. He was serving a 20-year sentence at Blackgate before being released early on grounds of ill health due to a heart condition. He moved to Little Rock, Arkansas, which is where he was reported missing. Cross-reference this with the others. See if it fits. It does indeed, sir. Sending you the information now. The Circus of Strange. Its route recently took it through all the locations where the victims went missing. Get me a list of associated names. The circus is run by a rather suspicious fellow named Laszlo Valentin. Search for any properties owned or leased by the suspect. Records show Mr. Valentin used to lease a beauty salon here in Gotham. But the lease expired shortly before construction began on Wayne International Plaza. Send through the location. It's time to end this. You're done here, Valentine. Let them go. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Pig, not ready yet. <laughs> She's all unique and wrong. All messed up inside out. Pig, make her better. Pig, make all of us better. It's over. But Pig can fix you too. Make you perfect. Like the others. <laughs> You're insane. <laughs> and what are you? I'm here to stop you. Bad. 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 Pig is like clay. Pig is like a god. Pig is here to fix us all. to make sure they stay down.
Christmas. Destroy him so Daddy can rebuild. I can't leave until I've rescued the other victims. Thanks. She's gonna be fine. We're gonna be, we're gonna be just fine. Please, please help me. It's okay. It's okay. It's over. <laughs> help me. Help. Thanks. She's gonna be fine. We're gonna be, we're gonna be just fine. Thank God you got here when you did. After what he did to the others. I... You're safe now. Stay here with the others. I'll send a squad car to pick you up. Thanks. I don't know what he would have done to us. It's okay. It's okay. It's over. Help me. Where are you taking me? Pig, go back to his circus. I'm taking you where you won't be able to hurt anyone else. I'll make sure of it. Pig doesn't hurt. Pig heals. Pig fixes. My Dolatrons are works of art. Those people are living a fate worse than death. Not death. Pig makes life worth living. And the ones you murdered? Too broken for pig to make better, too imperfect. <laughs> they make mother angry, make pig feel sick. Those things you couldn't change. It's how I identified the bodies. It's how I caught you. It's why you failed. No, not fail. <laughs> pig show you sick. Hmm, like to see? You've got problems, Valentine. Shut up, that drive straight to a wall like it won't even end. Oh man, it's him! Don't worry, he ain't catching us! Out you go, Valentine. 
Don't, don't block Pig away, Mother won't be pleased. Oh, never good enough. So close until you talk to me. I can do better. <laughs> so much better. It could have been so perfect. Still lurking around on rooftops. You shouldn't have come here. Not tonight. Are you kidding me? When I heard about Barb... North Refrigeration. Tell me what you know. <sighs> Penguin's using freezer trucks to smuggle weapons out of Bloodhaven. Now, I think he's stockpiling arms right here in Gotham. The question is where. Cobblepot's the best lead we have on Barbara. I need to find that weapons cache. If I can intercept one of his trucks, it'll lead me right to him. Huh. If only you knew someone who's been tracking their movements. You didn't really think I'd come here without a plan, did you? I'll handle this. You're needed back in Bloodhaven. Come on, Bruce. Look, let me help. You can't do it all on your own. It's too dangerous. I won't risk losing anyone else. Bloodhaven needs you. All right. I can take a hint. But if you want to keep tabs on that truck, you're going to need this. It's a prototype straight out of R&D. The old fox has outdone himself this time. I'll see you around, Bruce. Just keep handing out guns to any loser who comes in here with a fistful of cash. This arrangement with Scarecrow is strictly short term. The clown's dead, and Batman soon will be. Then Gotham's ours for the taking. And I am going to take. I want it all. If someone even looks at this city, I want my cut. Then we killed Dent and the others, right? Two-Face killed my brother back in Arkham City. He should be dead, not Robin Banks. Now that's not very nice, is it? You don't pay us to be nice. <laughs> Give that man a cigar. Of course we're gonna kill that ugly, twisted son of a bitch. We're gonna kill them all, lads. <laughs> the Arkham Knight, Barbara Gordon. Tell me where they are. So that's who we had. The Commissioner's little girl. I'll break every bone in your body, Cobblepot. They were going to see some geezer called Simon Stagg. I think he runs a pharmaceutical company or something. Do not lie to me. I'm not, I swear. They said he's about to leave Gotham. And those airships over the West River, it, it belonged to him. Put him down. We'll shoot, Ben. Five. Drop him. Four. We'll kill you. We don't care. Three. Let go of him. Now. Won't do you any good. Scarecrow's gonna break you. You are going down, Batman. Hold him steady, fellas. I've been working on my swing. Watch and learn. Gonna knock his head right out of the... This is you handling it, right? 
Now don't worry. You can thank me later. I'm gonna end you. Don't worry, Nightwing. This won't take you long. I'll try not to make you look too bad. I'll break your face. Let any of these weapons get onto the street. This cache needs to be destroyed. Bruce, you need to let me help. I had it under control. I told you, I need you back in Bloodhaven. Now, Scarecrow, these weapons, this all affects Bloodhaven too. The best place for me is here. Look, with the amount of weapons Penguin has been running into Gotham, this cannot be everything. He must have other caches in the city. Search this place for evidence. It should help us locate more of Penguin's refrigeration trucks. What a wanker. Let's put him out of business, eh? <laughs> Seriously? Do you believe that accent? Maddie only puts it on to sound scary. What are you doing? Bat? Come on! Don't lock me in here. I'll do anything. Want the laundry done? I'll do it. Help out, Alfred. You got it. I wouldn't like to be that guy. I'm going after Barbara. I'll contact you as soon as I track down any of Penguin's trucks. Thanks, Dick. I appreciate it. What are friends for, Bruce? Good news. I found Penguin. He's right where we want him. Cocky little bastard. You've been taken from me all night, Batman. It's time I did a little taking of my own. Bat, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Alfred, I need you to use Nightwing's tracker and isolate his location for me. Master Grayson isn't in any danger, is he, sir? Penguin has him. Oh, dear. Yeah, I've got a signal. They're holding him at a location in Otisburg. You must hurry, sir. We both know Master Grayson can be too reckless for his own good. How do you like this, Nightwing? All us scumbags, and you can't do nothing about it. 
Yeah, I bet it's just eating you up, Mr. Hero. Don't expend too much energy forming words. You're gonna need it later. You ain't getting out of this, punk. You're gonna die in here. There's nothing like beating on Batman's friends. Yeah, he won't recognize you when we're finished. You know, I'm sensing some hostility here. You guys got enough fiber in your diet? You think you're a comedian? We don't get tired. Oh, so this is a beat. I wish you'd have said something. You guys want me to act like I'm hurt? You gonna let him talk to us like that? Hit him! Harder! Hey, he's up. Boss wants to finish this one off himself. You hear that, Nightwing? We're gonna keep you alive for a little bit longer. More stimulating conversation. Great. Oh, let me hit him, please. Hey, what did I just say? I know. The boss wants him alive. It's just his face. It's so... Oh, hittable! Look at it this way. It's something to look forward to. Yeah, I guess. What are you even doing here? You got no business being in this city. Bad enough with the bat here as it is. You should have stayed in Bloodhaven. You can't smash me. Help, Batman. What did you think you were doing coming here alone? Oh, thank you. For finding this place would be nice. You should be happy. We got all the caches. Okay, Penguin's finished. We still need to find him. Well, I doubt he's stuck around. Good thing I had the tracker. I remember that coming in handy once or twice back in the day. I almost had him earlier. And I couldn't just leave. Didn't know if we'd get another chance. No guns, no goons. Don't think you'll be hearing from Penguin anymore tonight. Well, ain't this cozy? <laughs> you need to keep an eye on this one, Batman. He's a bit too careless for my liking. Come any closer, and you get to see the contents of his head. Hey, Oz. You remember the Flying Graysons? Flying who? What are you on about? Flying Graysons. The greatest acrobats in the world. Shut up, you fairy. Whenever they performed in that circus, there was magic in the air. I said shut it! 
There was one move they did just took your breath away. You're about to suck down your last breath, boy. I'd make sure you say your goodbyes. You hear that, Batman? You're gonna wish you never mess with me. Nobody takes from Penguin. Nobody! You've ripped me off one too many times. You might enjoy listening to this, Batman, but I don't. Maybe he thinks I ain't gonna do it. Is that it, Batman? You think I ain't got the balls? Everyone's gonna know your boy died, and you stood there and did nothing. It's you that ain't got the guts to take me out. Going soft in your old age, eh? Hey? No! Stop! Ah, don't you dare! Swear to God, you better kill me, Batman. Otherwise, I'm gonna kill you! I'm gonna... You know, I was just going to suggest you do that. So, here's the part where you tell me off. I'm proud of you, Dick. Are you feeling okay? This is the end. This is the last time we meet. Don't talk like that. All right, this won't stop you. Nothing stops you. Keep Bloodhaven safe. Promise me. It's okay, Bruce. I get it. You just don't want me hanging around, stealing the limelight. Dick. I won't let you down. I know. You could sell them for scrap, if you ever get out. Oh, you smug bastard. I might have known it was a wane under that mask. What's the matter? Bankrupting my family's business wasn't enough. You had to go and kick ten tons of crap out of people too. Your family was corrupt, Cobblepot. Yeah, and yours are dead. Oh, what's the matter? Touch the nerve. This Cape Crusader lock doesn't really work when everyone knows who you are, does it? Worked fine catching you. Face it, after tonight, Batman's dead in the water. You better find a new costume, old boy. <laughs> What'll it be next? Oh, I know. How about a squirrel? <laughs> You'll see. Move, Cobblepot. Keep your cape on, I'm coming. Hey boss, you're here! We're all back together. Hey, it hasn't been the same without you. See that, Batman? That's loyalty. You must be proud. Not happy unless you're sticking that pointy little nose into my business, are ya? You stopped me this time, but I'll be out soon enough. Don't you worry about that. Uh. 
This is it, the biggest bank in Gotham. Let's set a record tonight, boys. Hell, let's fight this too, for the boss's sake. Just like the others, these thugs can't hear a thing over the alarms. I'll hit them as hard as I can. Guys like me behind. The coin wants him dead. Eat face, damn it, kill him. I've oh, got the bat. I warned you, Batman. We dead. Stay the hell away. He's using the four grades. Take out the brakes! Stop the bastard! You should have let us be, Batman. But here you are. I see Batman! robbery in progress. you lose, Batman. And these guys will make sure. Bring us his corpse! No more alarm to hide the sound of my attacks. I need to be quiet.
I've captured Two-Face. I'll bring him to you. Send a car for his men. Sure thing, Batman. <sighs> Damn you. So is it true, Bruce? <laughs> Don't answer them. We know the truth. You aren't Bruce Wayne. Jim Gordon and I, we didn't strike a deal with Bruce Wayne. And it's sure as hell not Bruce Wayne waiting on the rooftops each night. This is who you are. See? We get it, Bruce. It's not the face you're given. It's the face you choose. End of the line, Dent. Never count me out of the game. Hands off the boss, Bat Freak. Yeah, he's twice the man you are. Save your breath. We'll get our chance. Not anytime soon. I might have known you'd get in here first, Oswald. Justice never favors the weak. Keep talking, Harv. I want that smile off the other side of your face if you ain't careful. Now that the night...
sight's gone. Mr. Wayne? I thought you managed to get out. It sounds terrible out there. What are we gonna do? Don't worry. This'll be over soon. Mr. Wayne, I just finished securing the building. Is something wrong? Anything I can help you with, sir? I didn't think you'd be coming back here tonight. Is there something I missed? Having trouble logging off? Identity confirmed. Good evening, Mr. Fox. Alfred, I'm at Wayne Tower. We had an intruder earlier tonight. He's taken Lucius. My word. Any idea who it is? The identity thief. Thomas Elliot. The surgeon? Good Lord, I remember when the two of you were inseparable. In a way, we still are. He reconstructed his face using grafts from his victims. He looks identical to Bruce Wayne. Why on earth would he do such a thing? He says it's personal. I'm about to find out why. Don't do anything you might regret, sir. Bruce Wayne's gone crazy. He's taken Mr. Fox. Please, do something! Please, Batman! I think he's gonna kill him! Let him go. We're just negotiating, aren't we, Mr. Fox? I have a job for you, Batman. Bring me Bruce Wayne, or I bring down this tower. Why Wayne? The two of you are friends. That brat's family destroyed me. And now, I will destroy him. The Wayne stood by you. Ah, oh, yes, the great surgeon Thomas Wayne. To think he was once my idol. Until he ruined everything. He did all he could to save your parents after the crash. I'm sorry you lost your father. But he saved your mother's life. He denied me what was rightfully mine. The car crash wasn't an accident. It was you. You wanted to kill them. I only want what I deserve. Bruce Wayne had his riches handed to him on a plate. He never had to fight for anything in his life. Now bring me Wayne, or I'll destroy this tower and everything he stands for. Take your best shot, Tommy. Bruce. Let's... Impossible. I should have... He's getting edgy. When he turns the gun on me, I'll have a split second to disarm him. Too early and he'll kill Lucius. Too late and he'll get a shot off. Kill him. I'll do it!
my face! I take it you didn't see the news? Not recently. No, sir. It's over, Lucius. The world knows who I am. I... I don't know what to say, Mr. Wayne. What does this mean for Batman? Right. There will be no more Batman. I'm sure you know what you're doing, sir. I know you'd never abandon Gotham. If there's anything you need me to do, anything at all... Thanks, Lucius. Alfred, I've detained Elliot at Wayne Tower. I'll have him brought to trial when this is over. Oh, thank God. And what of Mr. Fox? He's fine. Oh, that is good news. We'll ensure Mr. Elliot sees justice for his crimes when this is over. Disrupt this ritual! Batman, is that you? G -g Get me out of here! This is sacred ground, heathen. You do not belong here. But God has sent you so that I may bathe in your blood, too. My children, the devil comes clad in black. Slay him where he stands. Quickly, the time of sacrifice draws near. Exposing his glory. Rain down upon me, Lord. Grant me everlasting life. I face death more times than you can possibly imagine. I'll still be here when you're dead and gone, Batman. Gotham will be mine. Spare me this sermon. What took you? I'm kidding. Looks like I got my story. This is it, Batman. This could get me back in the game. My own show. Hey, first guest, how about it? The real Batman. Your story! I'm taking you back to GCPD. You're stepping into my church now, Deacon. Look around you, Batman. Look at what you seek to protect. Gotham is fallen. Why are you still fighting? This is over. I say when it's over, Blackfire. Take him down to the cells. Hey, don't look too pleased to see me, officer. I won't.
I didn't expect to see anyone, least of all you. You were the last person to see the Chief. What happened? I was trapped when the truck crashed. I could feel the flames around my feet, my, my boots melting. Next thing, the window above me smashes, and there was the Chief, pulling me out. The truck was gonna blow, but he didn't give up. I saw them dragging him towards the City Vision building. Please, you have to help him. I will. Don't go anywhere. An officer is coming for you. Thank God. I've been listening to them talk about how they were gonna kill me for the last 20 minutes. There's only one of your crew left to find. <sighs> Thank God. <sighs> what about the Chief? Still missing. Oh, damn it. You think he's okay, right? I'll find him. Don't worry. They wanted to take our jobs, Batman. He fought, gave us hope. He even found time for the victims of fires. Uh, only last week I saw him with a guy. Awful burn scars over his, his hands and face. The kind of person other people cross the street to avoid, and there was the chief helping him. That's what he's like. Selfless. Wait here. An officer's going to take you back to GCPD. My men. Are they okay? Your men think a lot of you, Captain. They trust you. You know, don't you? I know you would do anything for your men. Even if that meant aiding and abetting a known arsonist. It was you who gave Firefly the access codes and addresses of abandoned buildings. I always made sure they were empty. No one was hurt. You put your men in danger. The city was shutting us down. I couldn't let them do it. I couldn't. And while there was an arsonist at large in Gotham, your men would keep their jobs. They've got families. They gave their lives to this city. I made a promise to them. I couldn't break it. You understand that, right? The police will want to question you at GCPD. This is your seat, Chief. Riding in the Batman's car. My little girl's gonna be jealous. Scarecrow's plan. I didn't know about any of it, I swear. You have to believe me. Why would you? Why would anyone? I... don't know how to tell them. I don't think I can. You owe it to them. I know. What you did was wrong. But you came back tonight. That means something. Yeah. A guilty conscience. But thanks. Let's go, Chief. Oh, God. This is really happening. Try and make sure the men don't find out. I want to be the one who tells them. You're right. They deserve that much. Fire 
fly. You beat me once, but that's a long time ago. I believe we've met that charming pyromaniac before. Firefly. It seems Scarecrow made everyone aware that Gotham would be defenseless tonight. He's dangerous, Alfred. Keep watch for more fires. alerted the militia's new commander following the Arkham Knight's disappearance. He's a rather belligerent sort, broadcasting a demand to speak with you via open channel. Then give him what he wants. Very good, sir. It's good to see you again, Batman. It's been a while. Slade. Codename's Deathstroke, and I'm on the job now. As I recall, you once said that I didn't worry you, but our mutual friend, the Arkham Knight, he says different. He sought me out, said I was the toughest bastard you ever went toe-to-toe -to -toe with. The night's gone, Slade. You're a merc without a job. Not exactly. I took payment in advance on this one, and that makes me professionally obliged to finish this. Alfred, raise the bridges. He's not getting off this island. Yes, sir, but please be cautious. Scans indicate that Deathstroke's tank has a 360-degree field of vision. He'll be impossible to catch on a whir. Do you know what every guy who's fought with me and walked away has in common, Batman? I got them next time.
Bastard. You caught me off guard. You shouldn't have dropped it. If you were any kind of man, you'd pull the car over and finish this properly. You had your chance. It's over. I'll kill you, Batman. Then you better hope someone puts up the bounty. Oh, this ferryman doesn't need payment anymore. I'll deliver you for free. Move it, Slade. <laughs> you call this a prison? You think it's wise to put me in here with all these lesser warriors? You might not have any prisoners left when you return. I trust you have not forgotten me, Batman. Azrael. Dark days are here, Batman. The prophecy has come true. 
From the ashes of Arkham City, the fires are raging, and Gotham is burning. What do you want? I can see that same fire in your eyes. Before this night is through, that fire will consume you. Gotham will need a new savior, a new guardian, a new Batman. I'm not finished just yet. You cannot carry this burden forever. I have studied you for a long time. You have a code. You will not kill. Then neither shall I. The Order has foreseen it. The time has come to pass the mantle to another warrior. To me. If you can prove your abilities, when the time is right, I'll consider it. But first, you must show you are worthy. As you wish. Stronger than I thought. Signal me when you're ready to be challenged again. Sir, I've captured Azrael's performance. Good work, Alfred. Run the usual physiological tests. Then am I to understand you are considering him as your successor? None of us know what will happen after tonight. I'll be in touch. I am ready for another challenge. You have shown great skill. I'll return when you're ready for the next challenge. No matter how difficult the test, I will prevail. Another competent display, sir. He was clearly studying your techniques closely during his time in Arkham City. Initial tests show he is employing an almost identical fighting style to your own. It takes more than that to defend this city, Alfred. Agreed. I'll collect the data from this encounter and compile it with the first. Let me know if you need anything else, sir. You know, the only thing that's missing is if that freak from Metropolis flew in here. Challenge me again, Batman. I am ready.
You're a competent warrior, but one final challenge awaits you. Contact me when you're ready. Be prepared for my victory when I return. He's nothing if not persistent, sir. Huh? You still don't seem convinced. Just keep compiling the data, Alfred. It might interest you to know I've been researching the insignia on Azrael's armor, and it appears to bear the motif of the Sacred Order of Saint Dumas. The order dates back several hundred years. They have a sworn mission to protect Gotham, but records are scarce, with many speculating their existence was nothing more than a myth. Good work, Alfred. See what else you can find. I am ready to face your final challenge. It's the toughest yet. to be commended, Azrael. You have passed the test. I will contact you when I have made my decision. There is no decision to make, Batman. I am ready now. I decide how this works, not you. Every moment you waste, Gotham falls deeper into the abyss. Make your decision fast, or she will be lost forever. Sir, we have a positive ID on Azrael. His real name is Michael Lane. He was a GCPD officer before he was dismissed due to psychological issues. And then, well, he seems to have disappeared off the face of the Earth. That must have been when he was recruited by the Order of saint Dumas. It gets decidedly more peculiar, sir. The bad computer has picked up an irregularity in Lane's physiology. I've not seen anything like this before. Upload the data to the clock tower. I can analyze it from there. Right you are, sir. I'm sending over the data on Michael Lane now. I'm no neurologist, sir, but I can quite confidently assert that doesn't look like it belongs in one's brain. It's a surgically implanted microprocessor interfacing with the temporal lobe, the region of the brain used for storing and accessing memories. Which memories, sir? Visualizing now. Azrael, protector of faith, defender of purity. The Order of San Dumas has safeguarded Gotham for over 500 years. And it is your sworn duty to continue our legacy. You have studied the Dark Knight for years, learning his every strategy, analyzing his every tactic, perfecting his every move. Now, it is time to complete your mission. Seek out the Batman. Prove that you are his worthy and trusted successor. Only when you have won the Batman's trust will you be able to fulfill your destiny. His intentions do seem pure, sir. Are you suggesting these recollections have been tampered with? I am. Alfred, I know this symbol from Arkham City. It's the Order's sacred language. They've implanted markers into Lane's memories to modify his behavior unconsciously. If I can find the other markers, I'll be able to reconstruct the waveform and reveal the message. Scanning that marker has reconstructed part of the waveform. It's working. Another portion of the waveform has been restored.
Almost there. There's probably one more marker to find and scan. That's it. The waveform is complete. This should reveal the message. The Dark Knight stands in the way of our cause. He prevents the evil of Gotham from facing true divine justice. When you have proven yourself, wait for your moment and then strike him down. Take your rightful place as Gotham's new guardian. A guardian wholly willing and relentless in his quest to protect this city. They certainly don't mince their words, do they, Master Bruce? How will you stop him? He won't. Lane. Lane is dead. I am Azrael, knight to the Order of San Dumas. The Order has lied to you, stolen your free will. Liar! You stand in the way of true justice! We're on the same side, Michael. No. No! I know who I am. I know what I am doing. In that case, the choice is yours. Protector of faith, you know what must be done. The Dark Knight must be slain. The blade calls to you, Azrael. It's one true master. He stands in your way. Gotham will be yours. I thought myself the instrument of God, not the tool of man! Right decision, Michael. I do no one's bidding but God's. The Order must answer for what they have done to me. The Blade calls to you, Azrael. It's one true master. Strike down the Batman. Kill him. He stands in your way. Gotham will be yours. Strike down the Batman. Kill him. It didn't have to end like this, Michael. The choice was always yours. existed for centuries. They have more right to this city than you ever will. They know what is required to defeat the forces of evil. Their method has become tainted by that evil. 
And now they have you, Michael. No better than the monsters you fight. And where has your code gotten you? You fail this city with every breath you take. If you want this to end, you will have to kill me. You know that won't happen. Then our fight continues, Batman. Until one of us dies. Move it, Lane. Make the most of this victory. Your time is over, Batman. Gotham's evil has flourished under your reign. The wicked have prospered and the innocent condemned. A higher power is called for. Isn't that Barbara's job? Oh, right. In all the excitement, I almost forgot. <laughs> You don't really believe old Jimbo's gonna forgive you if you save her. He holds a grudge, Bats. I should know. Alfred, I've re-enabled the bridge controls. Marvelous. I'm rebooting the network now. Forget it, Scarecrow. It's time to face your one true nemesis, Batman. Oh dear. Is that who I think it is? Enigma. Contact me when you're ready with the bridge. Riddle me this. Why would a Batman visit an abandoned orphanage? Eddie, sweetie, you confuse me with Robin. The big guy and I aren't all that close. Oh, oh, I know! It's because of what will happen to his feline friend if he doesn't get here in time. Shocked, Dark Knight? Stunned? <laughs> you didn't expect this, did you? That is because you are no match for me, Edward Nigma, the Riddler and your intellectual superior. Did you think I would just forget our last meeting, Dark Knight? You humiliated me. I know you will not beat me this time. It is utterly impossible. You cannot do it. I have won already. I will mock your attempts to solve my conundrums. I will stand triumphant over your bloodied corpse. And as the dim light fades for good in your tiny dullard's mind, your final thought will be how I have bested you. Come to the orphanage, detective, or she dies. Batman? That had better be you. And you had better be sorry. Keep still. Are you okay? Perfect. What little girl doesn't dream of being bait for her strapping dark night? We're leaving. You might be, but I'm not. Ah! Both contestants are finally here. Tonight, folks, we've got riddles galore. But first, let me introduce my beautiful assistants. Ah, I'm growing tired of my dependence upon the least useless dregs I can scrape from Gotham's utterly uninspired underbelly. Why rely on others for help when you can design, program, engineer, and manufacture it yourself? What a pair Together, you're just competent enough to survive. Enjoy it while it lasts, Dark Knight. I have more in store for you than hitting things. All yours! Now, 
No doubt you enjoyed that, Detective. It's the most fun you'll have all night. You see, Dark Knight, this feisty, felonious feline has been fitted with a shiny new collar. With each challenge you complete, you'll get one little key. Collect every key and the kitty goes free. Remove it too soon and the kitty goes boom! <laughs> Well, don't just stand there, Dark Knight. Take that rocket-fueled roadster of yours and make your way to the Cauldron Train Yard. My first test is waiting. I'll be back soon. You'll be back right away. Guys like Eddie let me be until I started playing nice with the bat. What are you waiting for? Do I have to get my claws out? It's unlike you to get caught. Was it an ambush? Blackmail? A trap? He invited me. What? He said he had a job. A job? Of the cat burgling variety. I'm pretty good at it, remember? Not all of us scamper around on rooftops at night because we want to help people, you big brooding boy scout. Now where's my key? Do you do a lot of work for Riddler? Only when you're not looking. Selina. Someone wants something stolen? I'm the one who steals it. You know how this works. Or did you think you'd reformed me? Yes, Batman, I've noticed the new suit. It's very dashing. Now why don't you go play Eddie's games? Would you do the honors? <sighs> you know what the worst thing about this was? It looked cheap. Well, handsome, what are we waiting for? So is it just Central Gotham that's evacuated? Or are the mansions empty too? Scarecrow threatened the entire city, Selina. And it's such a tragedy. You go save the day and I'll make sure Bruce Wayne locked his doors. Good luck with that. I designed the suit to perfectly defend myself against your violent Wanna help? So please understand, Dark Knight, that this is an intellectual victory above all. Keeping up? <laughs> do you prefer? I will beat you!
This is beneath me. You are beneath me. You want to finish this, detective? Then you must earn the privilege. Solve every last riddle in this city, and I'll fight you, Batman. But not a moment before. Or we could just leave you down there, Eddie. Come on, Batman. This cat wants to prowl. I've been cooped up all night, handsome. We're leaving. Why bother? Let's leave him and hit the town. Fresh air, freedom, and darkness. Perfect. How shall we celebrate? I know a couple of poor, defenseless museums. But then again, I also know a couple of hotels. Tonight's not over yet. There's more work to be done. Of course there is. You do know how to kill the mood. <laughs> do you ever take the night off? Do you ever take the suit off? Not on nights like this, Selena. It's what I do. Fine. I guess I'll hit an art gallery or two while the big bad bat's distracted. You're not going to thank me? Why? It's what you do. Dark Knight, it seems you have earned the right to die at my mechanical hands. <laughs> but let us be clear, we do not meet as equals. In fact, you literally have not a hope of victory. Keeping up? <laughs> Riddle me this! What's mechanical, homicidal, and red all over? You're cheating to me. No! What are you doing here? This is not your fight, cat! Eddie, sweetie. You invited me, remember? And then you tied me to a chair. You didn't have to come. And you act like I'm ungrateful. Confession. Burn! 
My projections! the daring last-minute rescue. It was very heroic. It was under control. <laughs> sure it was. Now be a good damsel and bestow a kiss on your gallant hero. Play nice. You're not playing at all. No, I'm not. Not anymore. And what's that supposed to mean? It means this is the end, Selena. It means we can't. I can. I will see you again, right? No one will. Gotham needs something more, something worse to defend her. She needs a new myth, a legend more powerful than I can be right now, a legend that can only rise from the ashes of the Batman. Some things you can't do alone, Bruce. And some things you have to. Call if you need me. I won't. I know. I just wanted to say it. Uh, where am I? What's happening to me? You're a smart man, Edward. I'm sure you'll figure it out. No, no, no. You cheated. 
Catwoman cheated. She stole my victory from me. A fight I couldn't win? That doesn't even fit your definition of playing fair. It was fair! If you weren't able to bypass the robot's multi-layer encryption, decipher their unique operating system, and reprogram them mid-battle, that doesn't mean you get to call in assistance! You need help, Nigma. I never need help with anything! Out you go, Nigma. Ha! I could have brought me here twice as quickly. Well, riddle me this. Was Green proud and ass kicked all over? How exceedingly droll. I won't be needing a lawyer, you jumped up security guard. I will represent myself. Forget you bothersome bat. Every time you overcome my puzzles, I learn that little bit more about you. Soon enough, there will be a riddle that leaves you. I expect you to help your surviving victims. You will tell the police everything you did to them. It's not too late for you, Batman. Pig is an artiste. I can make a maiden from a monkey, a model from a miscreant, a beauty. From a bat! <laughs> You're no artist, Valentine. You killed and maimed innocent people. I'll make sure you never see the outside of a cell again. No, no, no! Pig has so much more to give! Oh, come. Show me what's under that mask. I can still fix you! Make you perfect. Pig can take all the pain away. You'll see. You made it. When I was airlifted off my ship, I expected to be rescued, not cuffed and thrown no, in jail. With me, You're even more deluded than I thought, Stag. You would know, Batman. You would Let know. Me know how to pray. It works out for you. It's over for you, Linz. You won't stop it, Batman. The fire. The fire will consume Gotham. Her buildings, her people, they will all be reduced to ash. The only place for you is behind bars. Wherever you lock me away, Batman. No matter how thick the prison walls, or how dark its confines, there is always a chance, a flicker, a spark. That is all I need. You're gonna be in here for a long time, Blackfire. Child, these bars cannot hold me. When the time comes, God will dissolve them like the hot wax of a candle, and I will be free. I'd keep praying if I were you. Oh, I will. I'll pray for everyone, for all Gotham's lost children, especially you, Batman. I'll do one special just for you. How are you holding up? I'll live. Funny. I always hoped I'd get to meet you one day. Never thought it'd be like this. I hear that a lot. I betrayed those closest to me. Whatever happens, I deserve it. You should have stayed away tonight, Dent. How many times have we done this, Batman? You put us behind bars, only for us to escape. 
Your life is meaningless. A charade! Not meaningless. Satisfying. Satisfaction is short-lived. Enjoy it while you can, because the next time we meet, you die. This place suits you, Cobblepot. Oh, you look tired, mate. Taking it out of you putting me in here. I can tell. Only so much the human body can take before it gives up. <laughs> Seeing you behind bars keeps me going. I'll wipe that smug look off your face. Just you wait. I hope whatever they paid you was worth it, Slade. The chance to fight you is always worth it, Batman. I'm flattered. You should be. When a man earns my respect, that means I do not rest. I devote all of my energy, everything I have, to killing him! You are never going to win, Nigma. Tut tut, Batman. In your incessant quest for justice, you've just deprived this city of its one true genius. I'm sure we'll cope. Cope, yes. But also regress. My puzzles are the whetstone with which to sharpen your intellect. <sighs> Keep me in here and let your mind turn to mush. It will be all the easier when we reconvene. It didn't have to be like this, Lane. Your pride blinds you to the truth, Batman, that I am Gotham's new protector. You don't need to follow the order. Break free. Your fate is sealed. I will escape these bars and fulfill my mission to end you. Alfred, the city's safe. Excellent work, sir. Gotham's oh, villainous good. contingent oh, has been brought to task time. yet again. Just you should be immensely time. proud of your achievements. The How city nice is forever in your dead. debt. Still relying it's on time for nightfall. Everything is in place, sir. The battering is on its way to the GCPD rendezvous point. Joker's Funland was still open. No lines for the Ferris wheel. It's done. Gotham is safe. Thank you, Bruce. For everything. Goodbye, Jim. Vicki Vale for GCN reporting live outside Wayne Manor following the dramatic unmasking of billionaire playboy Bruce Wayne. saw Bruce Wayne, now known to be the masked vigilante Batman, enter his home, refusing to come.
This is how it happened. This is how the Batman died. A friend once told me that criminals are a cowardly and superstitious lot. That the only way to beat them was to give them something to be scared of. I understand now. As his world grew darker, so did ours. When his war ended, our lives could begin again. He set us free to live, to love. There was an inquest, of course. Hundreds of suspects. Who killed Bruce Wayne? I guess we'll never know for sure. So what's next? Criminals are a cowardly and superstitious lot. What happens when they have nothing to be scared of? Who will protect Gotham? Now that the Batman is dead. Hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Help me! No one's coming, lady. Take his wallet. Hey, freak! Maybe you missed the news! Batman's dead! That look don't scare us no more! What the hell? 